Jardin de l'Orangerie, Fleur de Mont, Soir Malaki, uh, Rock de Mer. It smells a lot better out of the, the pulp. Uh -huh. It's okay. been sitting in the light for a long time. everybody welcome back to my channel my name is marcy it's been a while thank you for clicking on that thumbnail always showing up showing your girls some love we have a fragrance haul today and i had so much fun hauling these fragrances because it was over in london some of them it's like a two-part fragrance haul but we're gonna combine it get your coffee tea relax listen to me on your commute to work y'all um and we're gonna talk about these fragrances i hauled in london and a couple fragrances that i've hauled over the past couple of months uh but i'll do those at the end but i'm super excited about the fragrances that i hauled in london i was able to meet my girl abby from abby with love finally uh prissy we still need to meet up too so um and that's at miss prissy baby love her reviews i will link both channels down below y'all and then i met up with my girl farida she's actually from north carolina but she just so happened to be the one that i went to greece with you all if you're following me on, on instagram um she just so happened to be in london at the same time so this was like a complete treat uh, such an impromptu trip and I absolutely had an amazing time. So yeah, without further ado, because we got a lot of fragrances to discuss, not in notes, because one fragrance house I am super excited about. I've been looking at this fragrance fragrance house for about a year and uh, Money Go Bye Bye, I think her name is uh, Apollonia over on Instagram. We started talking about the House of Dries Van Noten last summer. I think it was last summer, like July, when we saw Swa Malakis. So um, I it's it been in and out my cart at Selfridges, but I've always seemed to purchase other things at Selfridges, but that one stayed in my cart and I really wanted to get my nose on it, but I also wanted to, you know, discover the rest of the fragrance house as well. And at the time, they didn't have the discovery kit, so I didn't want to just buy one. So anyway, I got a chance to smell every single one of Dries Van Noten's fragrances. And I was so hyped and super excited uh, to be in Selfridges, number one, because as many times as, as I've gone over to London, I've never gone to Selfridges. So without further ado, you guys, I hope you are subscribed. Please like, comment, turn on those notification bells, uh, follow me on Instagram, check out my Macari page. I'm gonna be listing more fragrances over there. Um, you know, and uh, sit back and relax and enjoy the fragrance ride, okay? All right, so without further ado, I let's do one that, I, I love Ex Nihilo. Ex Nihilo, I don't even know where to start, y'all. So we're gonna start with Ex Nihilo. Ex Nihilo is my, one of my top fragrance, niche fragrance houses. Um, the fragrances are very unique. They're not copies. They're beautiful. They're luxurious. They're silky. They're just very stunning bottles, stunning, sustainable packaging, like all of that. So um, I love the fragrance house. The very first one that I purchased was Flor Narcotique. Then I purchased Venom's Kiss. Oh, Sweet Morphine, sorry. The very first purchase was Sweet Morphine. Uh, I fell in love with Sweet Morphine. Then I purchased Flor Narcotique. Then I purchased Venom's Kiss, Explicit, and then I have one more and I can't even remember which one it is. But anyway, I have two new ones. One is a Harris exclusive, and this might be my number one, y'all. Um, the next one is an exclusive as well because it's an extra. Um, so let's get into it. So the very first one we're gonna talk about is uh, Flor Narcotique, the extra. This has been on my radar since it came out. Um, I actually smelled this one over in Selfridges and I ended up buying it in Harrods. Um, the same trip though. So when I smelled it in Selfridges, I was like, oh, this is really nice. Uh, but I had been smelling like 
tons of fragrances that day for about almost three hours and then like towards the last i ended up smelling floral narcotique but i think my nose was like way too fatigued um anyway i really wanted this fragrance because i do love a powdery note um a sweet floral powdery um, just really elegant uh, fragrance and this will be a beautiful wedding scent. So anyway, you all know that it comes in these like very uh, foam sustainable boxes, which is a great idea, you know, because a lot of people don't keep their boxes. So if you threw this one away, then it wouldn't even matter. So this black bottle, y'all, the black bottle. Ooh, now this is good. It definitely reminds you of Flor Narcotique but it's not as fruity. Um, it's a little more luxurious, a little more luminous, um, a little more smooth, uh, creamy. This is like Flora Narcotiques. It's sexier. Uh, this is Flora Narcotiques big sister okay this is what delina x is to delina okay so anyway this is such a beautiful fragrance you all um i won't go to it i won't go through it in detail because you know i'm gonna do a collective uh review on my flora narcotique collection so anyway, it's beautiful. I'm gonna go ahead and spray it on my, actually I'm not gonna spray this because I already know what it smells like. I've worn it, it smells like Flora Narcotique, but the X-ray, the bottle is standing, the bottle is blue. I actually thought it was black, but it's like a, a beautiful dark blue, y'all. I don't know if you could see it, but it's a beautiful dark blue. But anyway, this is amazing. I bought this over in Harrods on the sixth floor, uh, which is called the Perfume Parlor. If you ever get a chance, you must go to Harrods and you must visit the sixth floor. They have a lot of exclusives there. Um, you know, things that are not downstairs on the in the perfume area or the perfume counter, which is huge as well. Um, the reason why I wanted to do Harrods and Selfridges, they actually are very different because Selfridges had a lot of smaller niche fragrance houses that Harrods did not have. So they are completely different. So you can visit both when you go over to London. Um, Selfridges is a little more eclectic, you know, um, it's a little more, um, you know, it's, it's, it's fun. It's a little more fun. Harrods perfume area is a little stuffy, you know, it's lovely as well, but it's just a little stuffy, you know, um, and they have a lot of upscale, a lot of super expensive fragrances. Um, Selfridges, super expensive as well, but a little more affordable. Anyway, Flora Narcotique Extrait, gorgeous, gorgeous fragrance, y'all. Let me put that back in the package because I do not want that to fall. But like I said, I'll be doing a review. Now, the next one I completely fell in love with um, is a Harrods exclusive, okay? Um, I have never heard of this fragrance before. I love the House of Flora Narcotique. I've been to Saks, to Neiman's, and I've never seen this fragrance before. So anyway, this is called the Irreverence, okay? Irreverence. Um, this is one of the best caramel, like woody, sweet, you know, uh, luxurious caramel fragrances I have in my collection. I'm really gonna give you guys a great review on this fragrance. So anyway, the Irreverent is an extrait. Um, I think this is an extrait. No, this is an EDP. Only the Flor Narcotique is an extrait. But these are apparently a little stronger, the ones that come in the darker bottles. Um, the bottle is stunning. So she just picked this up. Um, Roxy was her name. I met Roxy over in Harrods. She was so amazing. So Roxy sold me both, both of these fragrances on different days, you guys. Um, she's hilarious. She was very fun. Um, and she loves the House of X. The Hilo had a lot of knowledge about it. So this is the Irreverent. I actually want to spray this one though. Uh, because y'all, this is so good. I don't know where you can purchase it, you know, but this is amazing. This it's warm, spicy, it's ambery, you get the caramel praline, it's woody, it's delicious, you all. There's some florals in here. This today, y'all know I love sweet morphine, but this today, the Irreverence, is my favorite ex Mejilo fragrance, y'all. A review coming on this one. This is intoxicating, okay? So I don't know where you can purchase samples, 
Uh, but yeah, this is my baby. If I ran out of this fragrance, I would definitely repurchase it, you guys. So, um, I was super excited when I smelled this Farida and I smelled it and, um, I said, Farida, this smells absolutely amazing. Yellow scents. I'll link her down below too. Um, I, I said, this is amazing and I've never heard of it before. So I'm so glad. Thank you, Roxy, uh, for putting this fragrance on our radar. So, it's, it's delicious. It's warm, spicy. It's woody. It's ambery. It's sweet. The caramel in here, you all, is amazing. Yeah, I love it. I love it. Ooh, it's good, y'all. So anyway, um, Farida bought a bottle of this fragrance as well. We bought a bottle like ASAP. We stood there and spoke to Roxy and was smelling other fragrances for like a good 30 minutes. As we walked through Harrods, we came back, we walked through Harrods. I was like, oh, I need a bottle of that irreverent. We were both intoxicated by this smell, you guys. So anyway, that's that. So the next one, um, I did purchase a discovery set of Miller Harris um, because I wanted Skier So, but they said Skier So smelled like Venom's Kiss and I didn't want redundancy in my fragrance collection. So, um, sorry, I was gonna go. I'll do a review on this one as well. I do love Skier So, Skier so as well. Skier So is a little more green from the Artemisia to me. A little more, you get the tangerine in Skier So, which I absolutely love, but it didn't make sense. But you know, I do love Skier So, but it does, smell a little bit like Venom's Kiss. Venom's Kiss is a little more, um, it's a little more smooth and creamy and a little sweetened from the sandalwood, y'all. So I'm actually happy that I do have Venom's Kiss versus Skirtso. 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 Sounds like a uh, psych diagnosis. But anyway, I love them both, but love my Venom's Kiss more. Oops, I'm sorry, you all. Shaking the camera. All right, so the next one we're going to talk about um, is Fanfare from the House of Thamin. Thamin, Thamin. Um, this hasn't been released in the U.S. yet that I know of uh, because I think I saw this on Lucky Scent the day before yesterday. And um, I think there's pre-orders for this fragrance for April. So anyway, this is called Fanfare. This belongs to the Brit Alone, the Cologne Elixir collection. Um, so this was a love upon first sniff. Um, I do love this fragrance. I've never, I do own a couple of Joe Malone cologne fragrances, uh, but this was, oh, this is really good, you all. This is definitely unisex. It's a little more fruity femme in the opening, but, um, it's definitely unisex. So let's go ahead. The bottle is gorgeous presentation. So I guess they're coming out with a line called a, a cologne elixir line. Um, and this is called Fanfare. So in Fanfare, I wore this full body. Now on clothes, this fragrance, um, I'll give you a couple of notes in the fragrance. So there's bergamot, there's lemon, there's juicy, juicy bergamot, lemon, juniper berry. Um, there are, there's some vetiver in here, which you, you do get. It's woody, um, but this fragrance is definitely unisex. Now, I do love this fragrance on skin more because on skin, the juniper berry and the citruses, um, the bergamot is very bright and juicy. It pulls better on my skin. On my clothes, I'm getting a little more of the musky woody vetiver. So I sprayed it on both. Um, like I said, it's unisex. Um, I do love this fragrance. I'm not completely in love head over heels, but I love it. And this is gonna be an amazing freshie for the summer. Um, towards the end, I might have to sweeten this up. You know, I like sweet fragrances, you know. Um, I love fragrances without the sweetness as well, but more of the like the rose oud or, you know, like a, van a green vanillic fragrance. Uh, but this one, I kind of wanted it to be, I wanted, I wanted the bergamot and the lemon to be maintained throughout the fragrance. And then I started to get a little more of the vetiver um, and the dry down, but it's beautiful, you know. It's beautiful, it's clean, it almost smells a little soapy in a way. The perfect fragrance for summertime. But Fanfare, I will definitely be rocking this fragrance. When I smelled this, I was like, ooh, I could see this layered with Nuda Veritas. I mean, you can wear it alone as well, but the sparkliness of Nuda Veritas with Fanfare would be absolutely amazing. But y'all, this is juicy in the opening. It's bright, it's fresh, and it gets soapy, a little woody with that slight vetiver scent and the dry down, y'all. Anyway, get your nose on it, Fanfare by Thamin. So I shouldn't be putting this back in the box because I'm wasting time, you all. Um, so anyway, I've been looking at a lot of reviews lately, you know, just um, 
on my days off for the most part. So I have been interested. I was talking to um, a perfumer, not a perfumer, a perfume fragrance house, um, I guess. Uh, anyway, I've been talking to somebody, okay? <laughs> Um, and I've been seeing these fragrances all over the place, mainly with people with my Middle Eastern uh, friends that I've been following over on Instagram. So I was like, okay, so who's Oman Luxury? So I bought a discovery kit and I wanted to get into the house of Oman Luxury. I'm going to be doing a review on this one as well. I actually already smelled most of these fragrances and I wrote down notes. So my favorite one so far that I do think I want a full bottle of, I ordered this on Max Aroma um, and it comes like this. My favorite one is, uh, Dijon was nice, but it was a little oody. They do have oud, like you get a really good Middle Eastern oud in this, um, in this fragrance house. Also, they had an apricot one that was really good. Um, and I was thinking about purchasing that one as well, but we'll go through it. Zafar was very, um, all of them are really, really nice, but Voyage was nice. I can't even remember the name, you all. Uh, the Flower Lush was nice, but it was a little earthy, heady, the jasmine. Um, yeah. So anyway, let me find the one that I absolutely love. It's incense it's woody, it's spicy. Um, they have beautiful names as well. Uh, Paramore is the one that had the beautiful apricot note inside. So I think I may purchase. Um, it's like woody, apricotty, very smooth, creamy. Wanderlust was good as well. And they're all pretty good. And why is it that I cannot find the one that I absolutely love? Royal Incense. <laughs> So anyway, I want a full bottle of Royal Incense. This was my favorite one from Oman's Fragrance House. And it would have to be like the 15th one at the end. So Royal Incense was absolutely amazing. Um, and it would probably be my most incense fragrance in my collection. Uh, but it was so good. So anyway, we're going to be doing a review on uh, Oman Luxury very soon. But Royal Incense soon will be... Uh, coming home with me okay you guys so um next we're going to talk about i ordered another discovery kit i saw denise i think niche spoke speaks of these fragrances as well and then i saw denise she ordered a discovery kit and y'all i do love jardins the mitzvah um and i wore these a couple times and i took this on um, my little break with me but you know which ones i love more everybody talks about click song i've seen click song on instagram a lot but you all, I love the most Memory Motel. Um, that one is on the way. And then it is Nothing But Sea and Sky. Those are my two favorite. And of course, I think Jardins de Mitzvah is the third. Um, so those are on the way. Uh, Bohemian so they're all beautiful fragrances uh, but those two memory motel and is it memory yeah memory motel and nothing but sea and sky nothing but sea and sky gave me ambergris it gave me like ambroxan or something it gave me very airy it almost reminded me of another 13 um, it was very intoxicating nothing but sea and sky um, that could actually be a signature scent and then memory motel I could not stop sniffing my arm so so y'all, those, those three are on the way and I'm absolutely loving those three out of the entire collection of um, Unwa, Unwit Nomad, okay? Um, yeah, I could not stop, sniff, stop sniffing Memory Motel and nothing but CN Sky. All right, so the next we're going to talk about, um, y'all, this is going to be long, okay? Um, we're like 17 minutes in and you know my fragrance reviews i'm sorry if they're unconventional to you um i'm not sitting somewhere you know i'm i'm not saying that i'm animated but i'm super excited about the things that i have to share with you all and um uh, yeah i'm not that conventional type fragrance reviewer that's going to give you um tons of substance maybe in a single review um i'll give you some substance when i talk about the fragrances but definitely not in a haul um so anyway um memoir 
called not memoirs of a perfume collector i've been having them on my mind because i've been talking about them for so long um mimo paris i purchased this over in london um this is a beautiful woody citrusy leathery fragrance that's amazing for the summer it's very unisex so it came in this collection box and I think this is like um, exclusive for Bergdorf or something like that, someplace over in London. It comes with a book that tells a story about the fragrance, which I absolutely love. No, I have not read it all, uh, but I will definitely read it before I give you guys a review. We're gonna talk about all of my Nemo Paris' fragrances again, uh, because I have like three additional you guys to add um, to that review. So anyway, this is called and y'all, I never like leather and fragrances. Um, I even have my Guerlain, Santal Guerlain listed because the leather was too heavy for me um, in that fragrance. So this, anyway, this one is called Moon Leather, you all. Moon Leather was literally a love upon first sniff. I didn't even get the leather in the opening. Um, you don't get too much leather in the opening, but there's like bergamot, there's lemon, there's all these oils in here that this fragrance house used. Um, there's vetiver in here as well, but it's not a heavy vetiver. Um, there's tonka bean in here, which I absolutely love. So the citruses mixed with the tonka bean um, makes it such a beautiful, like luxurious smelling fragrance, you know? But ooh, it's so, so good. And the opening is my favorite part. As it dries down, you do get more of the leather. So if you are not a leather fan, maybe this is not for you. I don't know where you can get samples. I know you can buy the full bottle. Um, at, you could probably get samples on Mimo Paris's Fragrance House as well, at Mimo Paris's Fragrance House as well. Uh, but yeah, I'll just Google it, okay? Um, anyway, Moon Leather is beautiful and you'll get more details. I've worn this for one day and um, it's a really pretty fragrance. I did mix this because you guys know I love a good feminine fragrance. I did mix this with my lemongrass, which is like, I think this is like a lemongrass verbena, uh, lemongrass coconut body oil by Trader Joe's. Ooh, I smelled amazing, y'all. But Moon Leather, um, they have another fragrance called Moon Fever, so don't get it confused. This one is Moon Leather, okay? Um, anyway, by the house of Mimo Paris, the bottles are stuck. Neen, you all. This one's all gold, but I absolutely love them. So anyway, get your nose on that. Let's put this baby back in her case, in his case, you know? So anyway, this is a huge case, you guys. So it comes housed just like this, okay? Let's close her up, him up, okay? So the next one we're going to talk about, we're sticking with the House of Mimo Paris. Um, the next one we're going to talk about is Argentina. Um, love Argentina, have always wanted it. The salesperson actually mixed Argentina and Centra together. Ooh, you guys, I wore this. I did a reel over on Instagram about mixing orange blossoms and rose ouds together, like orange blossoms and the rollies and the rose ouds together. Those are stunning note components to be able to be, um, to be blended together, you all. They smell delicious. So it doesn't have to be this. This rose oud if you have an orange blossom neroli and a rose oud um then mix them together y'all it's they're amazing so anyway this one with centra argentina is amazing so basically this is pretty much a jammy rose oud sandalwood intoxicating woody sweet praline smelling fragrance fragrance no, it doesn't smell like Oud Bouquet, but it kind of gives you that Oud Satin Mood. Uh, but Oud Satin Mood, there's something in there that bothers me a little bit. But it gives you a little scent of Oud Satin Mood. The bottle is gorgeous, stunning as well. Uh, but it also gives you that sweetness, that jammy rose. And it smells like there's praline in here or toffee or caramel in here as well too, you guys. Anyway, Argentina is gorgeous. It's intoxicating. It's alluring. It's sexy uh, by the house of Mimo Paris. And this was definitely, this was a part of the London Hall. We haven't gotten to the other, um, the American Hall yet, you guys, okay? So the next one, when I found out um, about three months ago, I wanted to purchase this fragrance. You know, you see a lot of good recommendations and, and what caught my eye was the bottle. Um, I, you guys know that I have like a collection of Mimo Paris fragrances, but the bottle, I was like, oh, I love the design, the um, graphics on the bottle, like all of that. So I was like, what is this? I've never seen it before. So anyway, this is uh, Madurai, Madurai by the House of Mimo Paris. 
And then when I looked up the notes, it had hazelnuts. I think there's jasmine. There's two types of jasmine in here as well. And there's peach in here, you guys. Intoxicating. And there's some other florals in here. Y'all, this is so, so good. And then I went to do, I ordered it, and then I went to research it after I ordered it. And I think I saw Haley. Haley spoke about Madurai. And then um, there was another influencer, a fragrance or a beauty influencer that spoke, that spoke about Madurai uh, as well. So I was like, you know what? Okay, it's already purchased. So I think I've made the right decisions. And I also saw a friend of mine. She's had this on Instagram um, since last summer, I think, you know? And she all she's all I I don't know why I can't remember her name, but she's always posing with this beautiful bottle, you know. But y'all, yeah, this fragrance is gorgeous. It's beautiful. Um, this would this could be an amazing spring summer wedding scent, you guys. Uh, when I think of like beauty, uh, maybe sophistication, maybe like silky, like a white silky dress or lace or something. I think about Madura. This is such a beautiful fragrance and you definitely get that peachy sandalwood um, jasmine in this. It's beautiful. I love, you You guys know that I love uh, the Creed's fragrance uh, with the peach and the jasmine in there as well. And what is the name of the fragrance? Can't think of it, but it's a new one. Um, the latest one with the peach and the jasmine. And I've been on a peach and a jasmine high since then, you guys. Um, anyway, Madurai by Mimo Paris. All right, the next one we're going to discuss. So that was three Mimo Parises. So, y'all, next, I met my girl Abby. Okay, Abby with love. Go, like I said, I'll link her channel down below. Such an amazing and beautiful soul. Like, I love Abby. Abby and I together are trouble. Um, we would have way too much fun and we would get in way too much trouble. She has such a lighthearted personality, such a beautiful, fun-filled, just a big glow around Abby. And I absolutely love that about her, not only in her reviews, but in person as well. The energy is just reciprocal, y'all, and it's giving. Abby is beautiful inside and out. And I just one of the people that I've always wanted to meet when I went over to London. So anyway, I had the most amazing time with Abby, even though we didn't spend as much the entire day together. Um, girl, I'm coming back, okay, for you and Priscilla. So anyway, um, Abby is always talking about Neroli, Blanc, and Tents. And you all, she told no lies, okay? Um, so I actually ordered this before I went over to London. It took a while to get here. It took about three weeks to get here. I don't know why, but it took a while, but it was definitely worth the wait, okay? So Neroli Blanc Intense, it's almost like a jammy orange blossom Neroli um, sweet candied fragrance. It's beautiful. I also layered this with Argentina. Um, it was amazing. Um, rose Oud, Orange Blossom Neroli, Sweet Candy. It almost smells like a praline uh, candied Orange Blossom Neroli fragrance. It's stunning. I love this stuff. When I smelled it, and it lasts hours upon hours, this lasts more than 12 hours. So get your nose on it. I was like, are they sure this is a 100 ml bottle? Um, I need a 200 ml bottle of this. Um, this smells amazing alone, or you can do a lot of layering with this as well. It's just a powdery, like it almost smells like a marshmallowy orange blossom neroli. Uh, oh, this is so, so good, you all. And it's beast mode, you know, it's almost centra, like Centra without the petite grain and the milkiness, you know? But y'all, this is good. This is amazing. Like, I was super excited to, um, this was a love upon first sniff. I was super excited to get this fragrance. But then um, when I smelled it, I was even more head over heels. Anyway, Neroli Blanc Intense. If you love a Neroli Orange Blossom powdery, sweet, marshmallowy fragrance, you're going to love this, you guys. So um, the next one, this might take a couple days to upload, you all, because it's going to be like a long, like an hour long. So um, the next one, oh, by the House of Thamine, when I was over there, they gifted me with this beautiful um, body lotion with argan oil and shea butter. And this is the, the Cora. So yeah, this was just a gift for me over there. It's floral. It kind of matches with the perfume that they gave me. All right, so the next one. Oh, I bought over there. I also bought Azara's 
Tobacco Collection Rich Warm Addictive. I've never smelled this. I've always wanted to smell it. So yeah, I was almost willing to buy this like about two years ago for a ridiculous price and then Zara came back out with it. So um, I'm glad I didn't do that. So um, the next one we're gonna talk about is in this box and I'm not gonna be like super um, chatty with these fragrances. So all I gotta say is look at the dents, y'all. Anyway, let me wipe off the bottle because it's very fingerprinty. Money go bye bye. You know, we've been talking about this Apollonia. Um, and then I've seen a couple of other reviewers speak about this fragrance as well. And this has been in my cart sitting in Selfridges. This and Baby Cat. I finally lost Baby Cat, but this was still there. Anyway, I said I'm going to London. I get to smell the entire fragrance house. I'm going to scoop them all up. The ones that I absolutely love. So anyway, I got my initials engraved on the side, which is MTC. And I got some and they'll all fit together and they actually read something. So it just so I was over there. It just so happened to be... Um, a special day that I was over there where they were doing the engraving. So I was super excited. Um, and that makes it very special. So anyway, look at the dent. Look at the, it's like all the way here, you guys. I've been wearing this fragrance like a lot. Um, the Siage, ooh, is beast. The fragrance is amazing. Like this could be, this and La Perla could be my signature scent. Like this is freaking amazing. Now it does give you, I'm not gonna say anything else cause I'm gonna do a review cause it smells like 25% similar to another fragrance. But y'all, I am loving this one better than the both of them. Like amazing. I've already ordered a refillable of this fragrance. I was gonna pick it up while I was there, but um, my suitcase was like way too heavy anyway. And I was like, no, no, I have too many. But after wearing this, like I don't ever wanna be without it. I wanna reach for this every single freaking day. The bottles are gorgeous anyway, uh, but the juice inside is, it's amazing, you guys. Dries Van Noten, by the way, this is Swan Malakis. Um, he's known for his silks and fabrics and the design world. The, all the fragrances smell silky, okay? I don't know how they did it, but they all smell silky. So anyway, Swan Malakis, top 10 for life, okay? That's all I gotta say. Swan Malakis, masterpiece fragrance, okay? Top 10 for life, masterpiece fragrance, and I love it, okay? And I really wish I wouldn't have waited that entire year. Actually, yeah, because I wouldn't have bought the rest of the fragrances. So anyway, y'all, Swam All right, so the next one we're gonna talk about um, is beautiful as well. This was, uh, oh, I have this one on as my scent of the day. Uh, this one has UK on the side, um, and I'll put them together towards the end uh, or try to tell you all what they mean. Uh, so anyway, this is called um, Fleur du Mal, Fleur du Mal, okay? Um, anyway, that was my accent. I actually have the guy pronounce everything for me. I said, because I'm gonna do a review and I don't wanna pronounce these wrong. So this is Fleur du Mal. Um, I love the bottles. They're ha they have magnetic caps. I think it's magnetic or it fits on pretty tight. Um, this is a beautiful sandalwood. It's woody, it's peachy, it's silky. This almost reminds me of uh, MDCI's Peach uh, Peach Cardinal or Peach Cardinal. Um, it's kind of giving me that vibe, but it's a little more silky and smooth and just luxurious. Now, the performance on this one, I am not too sure about yet. Um, I've worn it twice and I'm testing it out. But these fragrances, Swama La Keys, you can wear, um, I would say, winter, spring, summer, fall. I'll probably win, yeah, winter, spring, summer, fall. I'm not gonna go into detail, you guys, because we're gonna talk about that later. So anyway, Fleur du Mal, amazing, peachy, woody fragrance. It's gorgeous. So the next one, um, it came in this beautiful box, you all, and I got tons of samples. And we're gonna talk about the entire house, okay? Um, the next one I got is a uh, Jardins de l'Orange. Jardins, Jardin de l'Orange. 
So this is a beautiful, the packaging is very sustainable, y'all. Um, I like that because I don't need a bunch of additional boxes that I feel guilty about throwing away because when the bottle, when the boxes are beautiful, the packaging stunning, you guys, I don't throw them away. I keep them in my garage, in a bin, like a plastic bin. Um, and I just, yeah, I feel guilty. So anyway, um, this one has loves on it. Um, L-U-V-S, because they can only fit three, but she was able to put it fit uh, put in a, an additional one. Um, so anyway, this is a beautiful orange blossom fragrance. It smells like, almost smells like um, the Neroli Blanc Intense, but this one's a little more creamy. Oh, this is so good, you guys. So anyway, Jardins de l'Orange, we'll talk about this one. Um, I think this was the last bottle over there. I'm not sure, but this is gorgeous, okay? Uh, the next one we're going to talk about that I really wasn't quite sure of uh, when I went over there, but I did read some reviews, and uh, once I got over there, I smelled the fragrance, and I was in love. And this is a myrrh dominant fragrance, and this one is called rock the myrrh okay so i ended up purchasing the bottles gorgeous as well rock the myrrh is a beautiful myrrh woody slightly animalic sweet vanillic fragrance i wouldn't call it animalic um it smells slightly maybe it's a uh, agar agarwood oud maybe it's animalic but yeah, we'll go through the notes later, but this is a beautiful vanillic myrrh. I think there's frankincense in here that's giving it that earthy. It's not animalic, it's earthy. Y'all, this is so good. Um, It's amazing. The bottle's stunning as well, but it's gorgeous. So that is it. Then I got, um, I do have another one on the way. I have that to the refillable bottle of Swamala Keys because I need it. Okay, then I also have rocking rose i think it is raving rose a beautiful pink pepper and type rose y'all i was in love with that fragrance but they didn't have it when i was there so i ordered it so that one's on the way so i don't know if i'm gonna wait because i do have the oil from um raving rose the pink pepper rose i have the oil and it's basically the same actually this is more concentrated um and then uh, I have Rose Carnivora, which is another beautiful rose fragrance. This is a more of an earthy green rose. And then I have a Santal Greenery. I think this one smells a little like cannabis. And then there's a couple of more samples that I have. Um, there's Orange Smoke Cologne. And then there's, oh, I have another Jardin Sailor Orange. But anyway, I think I have the whole collection because I have more samples. I'm actually not going to go through this second um Actually, I will. So I'm not going to talk about it, though. So um, Fire at Will, I purchased. Love it. Smells like a warm glazed donut. Vanilla. I've had this. Um, I've had it for about a couple months now. Maybe, yeah, since February, the beginning of February. Love it, love it, love it. Okay. Um, I bought a dupe for Delina, uh, which is Club de Nuit Imperial. Yeah, Delina Exclusive. Y'all, yeah, I think I like this better than my Delina X, Okay. Um, this is good. This is like a hundred percent. Um, Delina X, you know, this is, it's Delina X basically like literally 100% Delina X. All right. Um, so if you don't want to spend the coins on Delina X, then please get that. Even if you do, you need to get it to compare y'all. It's, it's just that gorgeous. Um, vanilla from, uh, Harmony Fragrance Stunning vanilla, warm, ambery. I'm going to do this in a, like a separate review. But I'm like, Trill. Trill is making some amazing fragrances over there. So I love, y'all, it's ambery. It's warm. It's sweet. It's not too woody. Um, this vanilla is balanced so perfect. I'm going to make sure I link his channel down below, you guys. Gorgeous vanilla. Like, it's beautiful. Um, I did get Blanche Bet. Okay, you guys keep raving about it. And like I said, I saw my girl Veronica talking about it um, a while back. And uh, yeah, 
I, I don't see myself still wearing this alone. You know, I wear this with fire at will. I've worn it with fire at will twice, and I think I will constantly wear these two fragrances together. Because alone, Blanche Vet is just not giving me what I need. But I do like it. It's beautiful. Um, so I can't give you the performance on this because I did wear it with fire at will. So I don't know who's performing what, you know? So anyway, beautiful fragrance to layer with. Uh, but I would not, I most likely I won't wear that alone because I got a lot of, you know, heavy, sweet, um, almondy, nutty fragrances that I absolutely love. Um, the next one is Pistache. I talked about this by Dia Sindurga and my Kayali review. I love this one, but I'm definitely layering this. It's more of a ambery, nutty, pistachio fragrance. It's very dry. Um, and this is the perfect fragrance to layer with um, Kayali's Yum and just a beautiful vanilla or maybe any other nutty fragrance or any other sweet basic vanilla or creamy or milky fragrance that you kind of want to spruce up, y'all. Um, the next one is PR. The last one is PR. And this is by Imperia Fragrances. And this is um, called Shango. Um, this is gorgeous. You guys know that I love my other Imperia fragrance, um, Ocean, Ocean 5 or Ocean V. Uh, this is so good. I'm going to be doing a review a single review on this fragrance with um, my other one, uh, with the other fragrance set. They only have two fragrances with the other one that they have come out with, which is, um, anyway, we won't discuss it. I just mentioned it, so I'm repeating myself. Anyway, I love this fragrance. It's leaning, it's unisex, um, definitely slightly leaning, a little masculine, but I love it, y'all. It's gorgeous. Um, it kind of gives you a little bit of, it smells better than Creed Aventus for me, though. It kind of gives you a sexier, no, nah, it's it's still giving you like pineapple and woodiness, but not Creed Aventus. I love this one much better, actually. Um, anyway, that is it, y'all. I'm going to cut this, like cut it, cut it. I hope I've given you everything. Um, and that is all. Have an amazing day. Go out to the world, spread amazing siage, and watch out for my review on the House of Dreams Van Noten, you guys. Um, I'm super excited to give you that review. But like I said, I'm not going to wait for the Raving Rose. I will do, uh, but the Raving Rose, the bottle's so gorgeous. It's like pink and red um, and it's beautiful, but I'm not going to wait for it because, you know, it takes sale for just like a couple weeks to get things to me uh, because I'm in the United States, California to be exact. All right. Love you all. Go on to the world. So amazing. See how do good. Be good. And watch this review in parts. I hope you finished it. Um, all right. Bye-bye, everybody. Mm -hmm. Mwah.